Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about brushing. So when you get a brand new pair of skis, it's important to open the structure of that ski. Um, best way to do that is obviously first scrape the ski. Second thing you're going to do is grab your steel brush. Okay, open that structure with the steel brush two to three passes. I'll show you this technique in a moment. Then I move to the brass brush, two to three passes as well. And then I go back to the steel brush for one to two passes. Okay, then I go to hard nylon, two to three passes with this. Okay, then I go to soft nylon. Okay, one to two passes with this. I then go to horsehair, two to three passes with the horsehair. And then I always finish back with hard nylon and you have two choices in this you can have a, a smaller uh, version or, or the larger version um, technique works like this we'll start with the the soft steel so split your ski into three sections doesn't matter if it's a slalom or a speed ski um, so section one being this section two uh, right under the binding and plates and then section three up here at the tip okay slip your brush on okay and I'm gonna go side, side, middle, and then under the binding, I'm going to go side, side, at the tail, I'm going to go side, side, middle, okay, once again, I'll just switch to a brass here, I'm going to go side, side, middle, in the center where it's narrower, side, side only, tail, side, side, middle. And the last brush we're going to use, particularly if you're using Nanox wax, is hard nylon. You can also, if you want to get the smaller dust particles out, you can use the soft nylon as well. But I'm going to finish with the hard nylon. And uh, same technique, side, side, middle, side, side, under the plate and binding, side, side, middle. Okay. The reason we're using this technique is because too often we push always just in the center of the ski and that causes the ski to sort of hollow out and then you have to prematurely grind the ski so it's important to use this technique and and especially under this uh, binding and and plate section of the ski um, one other tip you can polish the ski as much as you want also with nylon brushes it's perfectly legal to go back and forth and scrub to get a nice high sheen um, you've learned that from some of our other videos. That still applies. That's great for acceleration, but for top speed, like over 120 kilometers an hour, you have to always open the structure of the ski. So these uh, brushes that I mentioned in the beginning, the steel, the brass, back to the steel, then to the nylon, soft nylon, horsehair, back to nylon. It's a rigorous process, but if you want the skis to both be fast out of the gate, out of the start, and also at top speed, particularly for speed events, you have to really work with the brushes and, and feel. And uh, of course, you can insert roto brushes into the sequence as well, but today we're just foc focusing on the, um, on the hand brushes. So that's the sequence of brushing I use for opening up the structure on a brand new pair of skis. Thanks for watching.